Do you see this? I am this right here. Hold, hold on, one, one second, one second. Right here. Look, look at this right there. That, that right there is an old iPad that I'm able to use as a second screen. This is something I've been trying to do for a long time. How do I get this old iPad that is otherwise useless, really, really slow, usable as a second screen? And today I'm gonna to share with you how to do this either for free or $7.99. Let's do that right now. This is an iPad Air 2. No, an iPad mini Air, I don't think they make that. An iPad mini 2. Someone gave this to me a little while ago. It is pretty slow, it is really old. Most applications don't even work on it because it can't be updated. Needless to say, it's a very old iPad that doesn't serve many purposes because it's so slow. However, I have finally figured out that I can make it a second screen. Now with the new iPads, this is not a problem. There's a feature called Sidecar, which allows an iPad and a MacBook to work together with dual monitors, right? So using Sidecar, you can take your iPad and use it as a second screen, no problem. But what about for us, those people who have old iPads? Can we still do that? The answer is yes, and that's what we're gonna do right now. Let's not waste any time. This is gonna require you to download an application called Yam. This stands for Yet Another Monitor. Now they have a free version, which works and it allows you to use it as a second screen. However, it only allows you to do this in seven minute increments of time. If you want to eliminate that, you can pay $7.99 and get the plus version. Now, this allows you to have endless time with the dual monitor setup. So go ahead and download Yam from the App Store. And then you're going to go to yamdisplay.com and download Yam Display for Mac. You'll simply follow the on-screen instructions and then download it to your computer. Now what you're gonna do is launch Yam Display on your computer, and then you're gonna open the Yam Display application on your iPad. And that is it. Now your iPad, your old iPad, is working as a second monitor. This can be used in so many ways to increase efficiency and productivity. I'm gonna share with you a couple ways that I use it every day as a therapist in private practice. And one of the first ways I use it is by using it as a task manager. So what I'll do with it is put my email or my to-do list on there and let it live there while I do all the other things on my other bigger display. Now you can see I have two monitors back here that are not the iPad. Uh, one of them is quite large and one of them is just the MacBook. Um, now you can use this without that. You can just have the iPad and the MacBook or you can use all three. So for me personally, I use all three. Another way you can use this is with screen sharing. So if you're someone who screen shares a lot with clients, different forms or homework or something like that, then what you can do is put the documents you wanna share on this screen. So that way you free up the other screens to continue to look at the client if you're doing a virtual session and to also keep your notes and documentation templates up as well. So in that way, you have one screen dedicated to sharing. And then lastly, you can kind of use this third screen as like a dumping ground. So for example, if you come across tabs or you have different emails or whatever that you need to read later, instead of minimizing them all and kind of putting them all kind of on that sidebar, you can slide them over into this screen. So that way you kind of have like a to-do later kind of screen, right? This is just a couple of the ways that I use the screen to stay productive and efficient, but you can be really, really creative. The whole point is that you now have this extra real estate that is really, really helpful. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope you learned something. Until next time, I look forward to seeing you soon.